what's good what's good man good morning good afternoon depending upon where you at it's big blood fridays man in full effect you know what i'm talking about me and tech nine we just dropped that single damn today he's gonna be joining us here shortly by 11 45 just wanted to open up the live holla at everybody you know what i'm talking about i see i see my man and already jumped up in here Let's see. What's up? What's up, bro? What's good, Brody? What's the word, man? Top of the morning to you. Top of the motherfucking morning. Hey, bro, you know I've been up all night, nigga. <laughs> man, man. I'm talking about, like, I just woke up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we get on stage, like, around, like, 11.30. I get back on uh i get back on the bus like 11 45 i get out of my wet clothes by the time i do all that and wash up and all that kind of shit it's like 12 30 you know what i'm saying i eat my food to like one something you know what i'm saying we watch tv to like two or three and then go to bed so you know i'm just waking up that door like that's what i was like boy. yeah when you hold, hit on, hold, on, last... hold, on, hold on hold on for a minute dewey hey the the, the 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 tire broke down uh on the road so we've been pulled over since five in the morning you know what i'm saying we found this lot the, yeah since five in the morning hold on i'm talking to mugs and uh he'll tell you <laughs> yeah i'm doing this live with uh, dewey the don and shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry and shit oh uh, no it's good mugs just, hey. mugs just woke mugs, mugs just woke up like what the fuck is going on <laughs> hey, man, just just a little detour, man. The show gonna go on, baby. Yes, sir. It's an off day today, so you know what I mean. It's it's good, but on some real shit though. That fucking song, man. Damn, man. I've been waiting on it for so long, man. You know on what I mean? On everything, bro. Cause we've been cooking this bit since like, like what? The, uh, well, at the top of the year. That's when yeah. We, like, we 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 connect, and that was kind of like. The first thing I kind of wanted you to talk about, because a lot of people ask me, you know what I'm saying? But from your perspective, like, how did I get on your radar and how did this collab come about? Well, I was, uh, I was searching, you know, I've met Rob, Rob Little Star, you know, I responded on one of her videos a while back. And I'm like, damn, she raw dog. You know what I'm saying? Raw. Like, for real, for real, you know? real skill from rob Lowe, exactly. you know so that, that led to me getting her on my my latest album bliss mm -hmm. so when i followed her i started looking for other motherfuckers that's connected to her and, you know what i'm saying i found miss kush and all these people and then i saw dewey the don and i listened to dewey the don i went to go listen to like four songs i'm like oh shit why don't i know what the fuck what am i doing you know what I'm saying? Then I saw Hood Nizzle, and I'm like, what the fuck? I am oh. sleeping. So I responded on some of y'all shit. Hold on, man, somebody's phone ring. I responded on some of y'all shit like, man, I'm fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know that y'all on my radar. So I fuck with dope, MC. <laughs> I fuck with dope, MC. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, Y'all fall up under the category of dope MCs, you know what I mean? So uh, here we are. I ain't didn't know what hoodness were yet, but you're a solid motherfucker, man, on top of being talented. So me and X-Rated came down to kick it with you down at the studio, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, it's been up ever since, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? We made promises then, like, we're going to make it happen, you know? And, on, on game. Yeah. On game. Yeah. And I told you, man, like, from my perspective, bro, it was just crazy because I really just almost took a back seat from the rap shit, man, only because, like, I was running so hard, bro, the last three, four years, man. I was just kind of exhausted as far as, like, really just financially and just wanted to get my footing together. And then that yeah. shit popped off with you, and you hit me up. And it's crazy because, like, even before that, bro, niggas was pulling up to my store, like, bro, 
I know you got this Starbucks shit going on and all that, but bro, the streets need you. Like that shit you be kicking. So that motivated me. You know what I mean? I cooked up, like I said, that Black Tie Baby album probably yeah. like within a week and a half, two weeks of talking to you. And I remember I was like sitting there like, damn, he coming to the studio. I ain't trying to force nothing. But damn, I, I I cooked up all this shit, but I ain't have nothing with like check in mind. And my boy Nova came, my best friend, he a rapper too. I yeah. started out in the group with him. He like, bro, this damn shit. He was like, bro, I can hear tech on this. So he damn near A and R'd it. And then I'm talking to Jazz. Jazz like, bro, just be cool. We kicking it. So you know, that's what we did. We vibed in the studio. And then like before you left, he was like, hey nigga, if you hear me on something, shoot me something. And I'm like, bro, I think I got the perfect one for you. Yes, sir. So yeah. I, w I was happy when I sent it to you and you was fucking with it. But then when you sent that motherfucker back, oh my <laughs> God. I mean, no, no, when I came down there, you, cause at first you had just, uh, you had sent me a picture of the verse and I was like reading through uh, it. But I was uh, like, when you told me, uh, you was going to be landing down at Strange and the, the time fell, well, I can't just hop on the flight because it was like two weeks out. That's what I did, bro. So yes, sir. on the song, bro, like, what inspired your verse or like do you got any favorite lines like from the song or from your verse a lot of them man i'm i'm inspired by life man so uh you know you're gonna always have ops in life i guess you know what i'm saying no matter who you are brother you know right. what i mean and uh social media gave people opinions sometimes we don't need on game and social media gives people balls they never had to say any fucking thing they want to say in that game and 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 i'm uh i'm old fashioned when it comes to that shit you know i feel like everybody should be accountable for the shit they say Thanks. you know what i'm saying and, and so you know my 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 team be like man you're too big to be responding to these people they only got two followers i'm like but they said something. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man first. My name is my name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you come around and make bro go stupid, talking loud like a dodo doofus, we step in with the rojo, the fofos, and photo shoot shit forever to funk and no more music. Because Ooh. that's before this dishonor, man. You know, so I always felt like that. I feel like I love doing music. It's my passion. I love dope beats and dope MCs, but when it comes to disrespect is it is gonna be music or it's gonna be war Period. i don't want war right i don't want war at all but it's got to be one or the other because it ain't gonna be no music if we warn you know what i mean so with that in mind spark the flame we aim and train to go darkness came my fangs my gang got fangs, fangs to grow bro. you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying well you got raw in that motherfucker, dog i am no longer a pacifist it is war that you have to get, because I am angel. You the masochist. I ain't no devil worshiper, nigga. Wow. I, my mom raised, raised me a motherfucking angel. It's just people in life, in an evil world, when you come as good, they make you the villain. You know what I mean? So exactly. my imagery made people say devil worshiper because they believe in mythical shit, and that's okay. You know what I mean? But uh, a lot of that verse got to do with... Niggas calling me, and they know I'm on the live. Niggas, like, well, I man, I'm the live. Yeah, nigga, I know. <laughs> I'm on it, nigga. I'm on the live, nigga. Right. <laughs> Fight calling me, I'm on the live. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I didn't know you was on the live. You know what I'm saying? You missed it, Scarecrow. Sorry and shit. But I got a lot of favorite parts in that rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else I say? Oh, this is just one thing I say. Uh, ain't no laughing. In this packing assassin is fastening and badminton and packages. That's Under grass ain't the half of it. I'm gonna send you what the Bible, what your Bible say the wicked evil masses is. Brimstone, Brimstone on your, ashes, on your bitch. ashes, bitch. Hoping you have a blast looking the ass of the Baphomet, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the symbol of people, you know what I'm saying, who worship the house of Satan or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just a jab at people i guess you know what i mean that follow things that are not of the light sorry right. and shit. 
You know what I mean? I, I chose the light. I chose the light. Yes, I have darkness. Yes, they call me the king of darkness and the and the clown and all that shit. Sorry, I'm still in my uh, pajamas. When I get off stage, I take my shit. You know what I'm saying? My wet shit off and I wash up and I put on my pajamas. So Hell my pajamas yeah. are some. So, uh, uh, my my pajamas are uh, an exclusive Tech Nine shirt that we made for some of my shows a uh, couple of years, uh, like a year ago. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the only one that got these motherfuckers. So people keep asking for this bro, shirt. We don't sell I, it. I've seen that shit, bro. Everybody like, where can I get that shit? We don't, it's a don't sell it. One. We don't one. sell it. It's one of one. You know what I'm saying? I gave I gave one to my boy Scarecrow. Um, did I give one to somebody else? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But we only made like. Four of these motherfuckers, and then uh, sweatshirts as well. You know what I'm saying? For the shows I was doing, like in Nebraska and Lawrence and all that kind of shit. We'll do like a. Anyway, but we, back to the verse. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's action packed with, with shit. You know what I'm saying? It's action packed. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, last thing you hear, bam! Silence of you and silence oh, of the lamb. Making everything pause like I'm Cam. Really scary things that make him say, damn, or I mean, I mean dwam, or I mean, damn. damn. You know what I'm saying? That's that what beat, saying, bro. I got that beat bro, made me do that, man. And your verse, you know what I'm saying? It depends on what the verse, the, the vibe of the verse. And, and, Calm down with and, that killer and, talk. We know you ain't a killer boy. Froze up when he saw the Glock. But the chop, the real bro, McCoy. Bro, the boy. first two lines. The first two lines got me up. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, okay, here we go. We ready if you come in with the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, it sent and, me there. You sent me you there, bro, bro. Crazy? What? And you picked up on my vibe because it is, it is wild hearing your perspective on your verse because that was my perspective. Because, like, niggas always ask me, oh, yo, I own battle rap. But that perspective that I had was almost like I was battling the nigga. Like you say, everybody on the internet, everybody that, you know, despite the fact that I stay in Atlanta, they trying to act like I ain't repping Killer City when everything I do is out of Kansas. It's based out of Kansas. My engineer, my videographer, I come there to yeah. work. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, so, like, that's why I'm calm down with that killer talk. We know you ain't a killer. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 yeah. I'm spitting to this nigga, but now I'm telling him, like, bro, me? It's a whole nother level with this shit, bro, because I got it from the mud. I started off with one key, turned this bitch to an enterprise. Enterprise, you know? yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, bro, you, you picked up perfectly on the vibe, yeah. bro, and you came yes, through. Sir. And I was like, nigga, we got the slow tech, we got the fast tech, we got the old tech, we got the new tech. I'm yes, like, sir. bro, this shit all in one verse, nigga. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. The king, the clown, the G on all the motherfuckers, niggas, they on, on one verse, yes. Keeping thank you, brother. They, keeping them on their talk, man. Thank you, bro. And it's like, and it and it's still like surreal for me, man. Because and I know I told you this story in the studio, but it's like, bro, I remember working at Cinemark, seeing you come into the movie theater, calling my mama and my best friend Casanova at yeah. the time, like, hey, man, run me up here a mixtape, Tech Nine up here. I gotta get one. You came out and I gave it to you. And for that, you know, like 18, 15, or 18 years later, like we working together. You know what I'm talking about? We building relationships. We even building continuous bridges between 913 and 816. I feel yes, like it's so much unity in the city right now, bro. And it's so much talent popping up different pockets, different sounds. And that's yes. one thing I'm curious to hear what you think about, like, what's going on in the KC music scene right now. Like, how you feel about it? Man, I love it, man. Man, when we, they threw this, uh, Don Juan and uh, Sean Edwards threw this, uh, 50 years of hip hop down at the gym theater, man. And I've the people that. that it brought, man, the people like, I got to, I got to see Don Juan and holler at Don Juan after a long time, man. And just run into a lot of people, man. I saw Romeo, Ronell, my family, you know what I'm saying? Just everybody, I brought Nuthouse with me, man. It's just, what you said is that the unity in the city is getting tighter because it's something we never really had, man. You know oh, what I'm saying? Uh, Promise, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Something that we never really have. People people say, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to keep shit to themselves in Kansas City with their little clicks and shit. And motherfuckers used to say that shit about me, but I always fucked with Kansas City. All my artists that I signed were from Kansas City in the beginning and shit like that. You know what I mean? So, but the problem is, Dewey, it's levels to this shit, man. You know what I'm right. saying? I, I, I said this. I said this somewhere recently that everybody, oh, it was on Will Slap's, uh, Will 
Little Slap had a uh, Facebook the other day. They said, Tech Nine done anything for the city. Uh, I'm asking for a friend. Uh, he put, no, he, he put up an old picture of me. <laughs> so, I, uh, in that, I had to explain. I didn't have to explain, but like I say, I have to speak on shit when somebody might have an opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I try to be fair as I can with my thoughts and what I say to the public, you know, because. I've been practicing emotional intelligence for some years now. So, you know, I can I can go up and bang on niggas and make it worse, or I can talk to motherfuckers like human beings. You know what I'm saying? I chose to do that. And uh, I was saying that there's levels to this shit. Everybody have a different perspective on what they think good is. Right. And I fuck with motherfuckers that can rap, and specifically rap on beat. That's now, you know, there's an influx of... MCs that came out in the last uh, four to five, six, seven years that don't have a rhythm idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't have a rhythm or, yeah, don't have a rhythm or, or, or rhyme idea. And that's cool because I think it's money out here for all of us to, you know, um, to come up. But I have a standard. Right. And the people that don't meet that standard feel pushback from me. I'm sorry and shit, but there's levels to this shit, do we? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they just get in where they fit in. It just don't fit in with me. I ain't got no problem with niggas that rap off beat and niggas that talk about the same thing. But I, if, if I do a song with somebody that ain't, in my opinion, have a bit of skill in doing music, they're going to know I'm doing it for clout. I'm not doing shit for Cloud. I'm sorry. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on the incline, my nigga. I'm still rapping my ass off, my nigga. I, it's just what I chose to do for Tech Nine 38 years ago. Right. That was a flex. That was a flex. You know what I'm saying? 38 years ago. So it's like that, that standard I made for myself to fuck with elite artists. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick. You know what I mean? Elite artists. Talk to him. T.I., elite artist. Talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can keep going. You know what I'm saying? I did shit with Tupac, elite artist. You don't give a fuck what nobody say, nigga. That nigga can bust. Oh, you know what I'm dang. saying? Uh, from Snoop Dogg to E-40 to all the people I work with, uh, Eminem, you know what I mean? Like, and then on the metal side, you know what I'm saying? Slipknot, System of a Down, you know what I mean? Uh corn you know all these people i work with five finger death punch all these people are elite artists in my opinion so when i'm connected to somebody don't get me wrong i done done stuff in the past for money yeah you know what i'm saying i done, done stuff in the past for money when i was coming up you know what i mean and motherfuckers wasn't necessarily elite artists but i needed money back in the day oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying so there's some shit out there and be like, but you did a song with these motherfuckers. Yeah, I needed money back in the day. I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? But since then, I've taken my price for a verse to 40000 in the last decade, I think, 40000 And we've been, since lately, it's been going up to fifty. You know what I'm saying? And that way it weeds out. Sometimes it weeds out the whack, but these whack motherfuckers be having some yeah, money, nigga. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know, the money, nigga. And sometimes I'm gonna be like, eh, nah, I don't need that money. You know what I'm saying? Lately, because I I I built up enough to where I can do that now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, my, you know, forty to fifty thousand is what they're gonna pay for a tech verse because niggas be wanting me to speed. But when I say Speed, I mean chop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I pick and choose who I want to work with for nothing, for no money, out of respect. Yeah. And that's you, bro, bro. You one of them. You know what I'm saying? That's out of love, respect. That's you know what I'm saying? Do we didn't have to pay me a dime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might have paid for the studio time we, 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 you know, we, we had, you know what I'm and saying? Up music and shit, that, but, but, for the video, for nothing, out of respect for your craft and your realness, in my opinion, because everybody's reality is different. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I didn't put no price tag on that bitch. Man. You know what I'm saying? And I do that. I do that. You know, Kendrick did it for me. Eminem did it for me. Ice Cube did it for me. Um, Snoop Dogg did it for me. Did it for me. E-40 did it for me. T.I. did it for me. And the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we got to share that inspiration. How they did for hey, me. Hey, you know? Bro. Hey, bro. I be telling motherfuckers, bro, you three real, bro. And this shit is just perplexed to me because it's like like just even just being where you are bro and even having the 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 i don't want to say i don't know if that's the right or wrong word but even having that empathy of like seeing where someone is at being there before and being willing to lend a helping hand of expertise not saying i asked before a handout not saying i wasn't working yeah but you ain't have to do none of that shit you did bro and like yeah, yeah, so yeah. like when i see posts like the one that you made a reference of i take that shit as a joke because it's like if you know you know if you in the realms of working motherfuckers gonna see you you know what i'm talking about like i wasn't necessarily doing what i was doing to get on your radar but i stuck with my plan i stayed consistent i was serious about marketing myself educating myself on the things outside of music that is because music is always the easiest part to understand and get but yeah. how do you develop and cultivate relationships how do you carry yourself as a brand as a business you know like i always say like mailbox for i mean uh sleep sleeping promotion when i'm asleep my shit is out there getting posted yes, getting sir. ran up so you know i feel like it only made sense that we came together but it's still unbelievable to me, man. I'm still like relishing in the moment. Yeah, man. This motherfucking song is up at like twenty thousand streams, yeah. like on Spotify alone. <laughs> like, cause it's so new, I can't see the data points and everything. But just I've been tracking the Spotify all morning, man. And uh, yeah. you know, you you a legend, man. You a legend. You you motherfucking the unofficial mayor of KC, man. And I, I take very pride. I take a lot of pride in where we come from and I take a lot of pride in what we just did together. Yeah. And I hope that it continues to inspire other people to keep working. Let's come together and let's put Casey on the map. Like let's stop dividing That's ourselves right. because no matter town motherfuckers, they don't even see Kansas City, Missouri, can't. They just group that shit. If they know, they know. They're like, yeah, you're from hey, Kansas. But really, it's, you know what I mean? It's time to say fuck that shit. Now, don't get me wrong, some beefs, are too far gone and ain't gonna never be squashed. I'm sorry to say, that's 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 the streets. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can't speak for everybody's beef. But in my opinion, it's too late to have barriers because of colors and all that kind of right. shit. Some 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 color shit, man. Families are involved and you can't you can't get in that. You can't stop it, you can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It, it's gotta work itself out, but it's time. Time, it's always been time to me to always integrate with people that back in the day when we were younger we had problems with right you know what i'm saying it's like it's like you know when the rogue dogs and rich the factor got on a song back in the day that that chief song and all that kind of shit that we've done in the past you know people love to see that right. i paid attention to that you know what i'm right. saying hoods that might have funked back in the day you know what i'm saying it didn't get too far gone to where we can't be in the same room right you know what i'm saying head the don was telling me that he was in the studio with icy rock when we was recording with rest in peace richard hollowell and scatterman and snug brim that he was a youngster in the studio you know what I'm saying he from the other side from the blue side you know what i'm saying we got a motherfucking hit right now called oh. pull out oh that's 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 you know what I'm saying? That's that's like get, getting play all over the country right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got shit to do with that. It ain't got shit to do with the, you know what I'm saying? The the, the different sides or whatever. Right. It's respect there. Right. I remember I remember I was on a tour back in the day um, and I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And um, after the show, one of my people got on the bus like, hey man, um, Phil Anselmo from Pantera wants to meet you. He's, his tour bus is across the street. I'm saying, Phil and I'm over. Pantera, nigga? I'm like, yeah. I put on my boots, got on that bus. Everybody stood up when I got on the bus, man, gave me hugs. I got to the back of the bus, gave Phil and Salmo 
a motherfucking hug. I posted the picture and everybody was mad at me, man. Like, how the hell are you gonna take a picture with a white supremacist like him? He's with skinheads. I'm like, let me tell you something. Whatever y'all think about that man, when I walked on that bus, that was respect had. Right, right. So no matter what they think or what they thought he was connected to, if he was connected to it, that shit went out the window when this black man got on that goddamn bus. Because of respect had. You know what I'm saying? Respect was had from both sides. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even think that what they thought about Phil Anselmo was um, what it is. Because Donald Trump fucking posted Red Kingdom and the Republicans took my song hijacked it and made it their own you Here know what i'm go. saying yeah, and motherfuckers motherfuckers was hitting me like is that what you represent i'm like nigga i made that song for the chiefs right but when you but when you <laughs> but when you put out music dewey when people buy it like donald trump if he buys it they interpret it whatever that way they want to after they buy yeah. it they're gonna repurpose it yeah. fit whatever the hell they got going but when on, they yeah. come talk to me and they saying on that impeachment trial, the lady said, the prosecutor said, he posted a fight song, da 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 da, -da Red Kingdom. I'm like, motherfucker, there ain't no fight song. That's a team spirit song I made for right. the Chiefs. Right. But they took it over. So when people put labels on people because of other shit, how people interpret Pantera, or Phil Anselmo, right? They make they make, make ideas that I got on a bus with a white white supremacist, but I don't give a fuck what nobody think, nigga. You know what I mean? I can face whoever and whenever and however at any time. You know what I'm saying? Because I have respect. Right. Where I'm up, wherever wherever I step, respect is had, and if it ain't, we got a problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I come with love and respect to everybody, no matter what my standards are lyrically or right. musically. Right. I got love for everybody. I see everybody rising. And when I see you trying to rise, bro, I want to do what I can do to help good people and dope people rise, man. So here we are, brother. Yes, sir. Here we are, bro. It's history in the making. 816 to the 913 to Tech Nina and do it a dime. Hey man, and one thing that I want to speak on what you what you just said, it is disheartening that people will run with lies because it's more entertaining or people won't seek truth beyond what was just told to them. I'm like, always go to the source. If you really because actions is one thing, intention is another. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? But a lot of people don't seek understanding. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people just run around ignorant, run around with the one thing. That's why, you know, people even trying to tell me, trying to kind of create preconceived notions about me and your relationship or, you know, how we was cultivating ours or what we was working on, what they think was going to happen, what they didn't think was going to happen. I'm like, I can see whatever you're talking about, but you, your frame of reference ain't the same with mine because our experience ain't different. I got the relationship with them. Yeah. I'm trusting this process. You feel me? Like, I'm not worried yes, about that. You know what I did? Because I could already tell from just talking to you, bro, you a genuine-ass person, bro. And I think that that's one thing that's really helped propel you and you made legendary accomplishments because at the end of the day, you ain't no fuck nigga, bro. You a real yes, one, bro. <laughs> you know yes, what I'm sir. Like, I can't I, say it no simple and plain, bro. Like, you know, I ain't got fuck right, nigga. Real, I ain't bro. got fuck nigga in my makeup. It's that, There's really? never been fuck nigga in my makeup, man. You know what I'm saying? It's always been solid brother in my makeup. You know what I'm saying? So they can say whatever they want about Tech 9 you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers can say whatever they want that's negative, but if it's negative, <clears throat> it's something wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's something wrong. Somebody did something or said something to hurt somebody's feelings or something. You know what I mean? But uh, if they got something negative to say about Tech 9 they don't know Tech 9 bro, bro. That's the, that, that part. That's what I'm saying. But, hey, man, once again, bro, I appreciate everything you've been doing, bro. I'm a, we gonna continue running this motherfucker up. Yes, sir. Uh, I talked to LB. He said give him about a week and a half. So you gonna have the video first before I drop it. Make sure it's set up with the. We gonna drop just, the one mic first. You just, you just, you just, 
Travis Flex, you said the video coming. You know what I'm saying? You let them know the video coming. <laughs> hey man, tell, hey bro, we got we got two videos for this motherfucker, and we got another BTS coming out. So we gonna spoon feed these niggas, man. It's gonna be a good holiday season. We gonna give them a lot, a lot yes, to sir. look at and a lot to listen to. You know what I'm talking about? And before I get up off of here, I just wanna shout out the Click man, shout out Head to Die, everybody that's uh, graced my Black Top Baby Two album, Tech Nine, Project Pat, J Dig, Head to yes. Die, yes. Good Nizzle, Miss Kush. Nova yeah. Kane, and of course, Rob Lowe, the motherfucking star. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Casey is the town. Yeah. And yes. hey, man, I went live today with my nigga Tech Now. You know what I'm talking about? Go stream that damn, man. Uh -huh. Get some rest, uh -huh. nigga. I know you tired, yes. nigga. Yes, I am. It's all good, though, man. It's an off day, man. I'll be around. I'm going to talk to you after this, though, bro, bro. All right, bet, man. Love. Much bro. love. love and, and respect, bro, bro, to, to, to your whole side. And uh, it's love on bees. On bees, <laughs> nigga. All right. All right, loved one. In a minute. In a minute.